right. and I fell in love with a red cigar box purse in a glass display. It wasn't for sale, it was a prop, and they had jewelry and gloves, and I was against the glass. It was magnificent. And I said, oh, wow, well, this is it. <laughs> so I went to a cigar store and got one and drilled it up and lined it with fabric and just knew. I called my cousin who has a kiln and said, I need a logo. And she's like, you need a logo? You haven't sold anything. What are you talking about? I'm like, oh, this is big. So I had um, the, the stamp design for Anna, and she fires it in a kiln. It's a little piece of ceramic. And my first purse was sold with this logo. So now they're all over the country, but people can identify, oh, it's an Anna. So I'm very proud of that. And I sign and number them inside, Anna, and the numbering. It's the detail of mine that, that I think kind of sets my brand apart. Uh -huh. it's, the, uh, it's almost the fabric inside and the, and the effect and the gasp. People go, oh, when yeah. they open it, and yeah. they, they say, when do I ever want to show off the inside of my purse? Right. But sometimes they have beach scenes. Uh -huh. I have, you know, oh, wow. I, I have, you know, hula girls dancing, and it's a bamboo handle, and it's this whole mood. And people say, I'm not really going to put much in it because I want to show up the inside. And that's very fun flip for me. Okay. It's not only am I maintaining the integrity of the exterior of the box, and it's just handsome. Yes. I, I mean, yes. love it. Yeah. But the inside has that fun little extra story to it. Right. Right.